Grandpa, the cranberry sauce. First time I saw this shit, I thought it was jelly. I was like, this shit ain't spread. <laughs> and we never had our table since. <laughs> then when they said they like to talk about, Papa, give me a kiss. You just kissed the dog, motherfucker. They all in my house just licking my dog in the box. <laughs> my little purebred grandkids don't do that shit. They know. If Max or Coco lick you in the face, slap the shit out of them. No! <laughs> One little biracial drag kick went out. Come here, Coco, get in. <laughs> Papa, can I get a kiss? <laughs> no, motherfucker. And I know y'all sometimes. Hey, man, don't get me wrong. And I know y'all right now talking about how do he call his grandkids motherfucker? <laughs> sometimes I wonder, I don't. Who call them motherfucker grandkids? <laughs> and y'all kids go in motherfucker mode sometimes. Think about it. That little motherfucker just spilled my weed. <laughs> that little motherfucker just pulled coffee on my TV. That little motherfucker just called family children services. <laughs> grandkids is something else. Stepkids even more fucked up. <laughs> Man, I learned from being a stepdad. Sometimes you gotta keep it real with them. Like I had my stepdaughter tell me, I gotta spend some money on her ass. She said, Well, you're not my I'll give her some advice. You're not my paternal dad. I said, I'm not even your motherfucking stepdad, bitch. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm your motherfucking mama's husband. You were 22 when I met your ass. If you get them when they kids, and influence them, they, they still step that. But them fuckers is 16 and up, ain't a goddamn thing you can do try to be friends. And I said, I don't want to be your motherfucking friend. And then meanwhile, I had a stepdaughter even look at me and said, we was arguing, and she said, motherfucker. I was puzzled on that one, so on and I said, yeah, I'm fucking the hell out your mama, bitch. <laughs> That's why you need to be in your own goddamn house out of choke <laughs> Y'all won't think I'm committing the murder in the motherfucking room. And I'm gonna tell you something else about being married. And you can't take it personal. When you dating this shit, y'all fuck like rabbits. Hard, fast, and regular. But fellas, when that woman move in, that pussy moving out. Come on. And, now. But, but, but what I mean by that is. You got to learn to masturbate. Touch yourself. I do it. Y'all see me, I'm not gonna lie. This might be freaky to y'all, but I've been around and I leave my chair back and put the damn fan there. So the fan gonna blow. And y'all say, well, I need the fan. I just like my nuts to blow dry. <laughs> but anyway, I, I want y'all to know, I would like to get y'all, this is the end of my set. I would like to give y'all y'all my Facebook number, but I'm in Facebook jail for 30 days. Damn. White boy called me nigga. And all I did was post his phone number, his picture, and his address. And I said, this nigga coming to see you. <laughs> Next day, I'm in jail. 30 days. Can't get into my shit, but they just stopped the porno. But well, let me say one more thing. We all got to learn to get together, okay? Black folk, white folk, we learn to get together. We got to accept each other as each other are. And, but white folk, you got black friends, you can't say nigga. No. I, got a, I got a white friend, we cool as hell. We drank all the same bottles sometimes. <laughs> but he saw me in the county jail, he don't speak to me no way that. Mufasa, what's up, nigga? <laughs> I think you got it, crap. He said, well, I gotta be a nigga. I said, well, I gotta be a cracker. I said, that. Well, I said, nigga with a hate, not you. I said, I said, cracker, not cracker. <laughs> but anyway, y'all hit me up on my damn Facebook. My, I'm, I'm locked up on Facebook. But my email is kingmoofossil35 at yahoo.com. Love y'all. Hope y'all enjoy the show.